Welcome to the Hockey History Storyteller Podcast. This is the podcast where you can learn about past players, coaches, teams, leagues, and events. The game we know and love today was created from our past. Today's episode, Maurice Richard, The Rocket. Everyone knows the name Maurice Richard and his nickname, The Rocket. He was one of the game's all-time best and certainly the best during his playing days. In 18 seasons with the Montreal Canadiens, he played 978 games, scored 544 goals, and assisted on 422, for a total of 966 points. He had seven playoff hat tricks. Only Wayne Gretzky has more. The Rocket led the league in goals many times, but never won the Art Ross Trophy. He did, however, win his share of hardware. The Hurt Trophy in 1947 and eight Stanley Cups. He was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1961, and his iconic number nine is retired by the Canadians. When one thinks of what kind of player Richard was, they think of one thing, goals. Maurice was the first player to score 50 goals in a season when he reached that tally in 50 games in the 1944-45 season. Before that season, Montreal GM Tommy Gorman added a 30-goal and 50-goal incentive bonus to his contract. His opponents did everything they could to prevent him from scoring 50. In the 1940s, including that 50-goal 1944-45 season, Richard played on the famous punchline alongside Elmer Locke and Toe Blake. The trio scored an astounding 220 points in that one year. Not only was The Rocket the first to score 50 in a season, he was the first to score 500 in his career. His nickname was documented by two reporters, Baz O'Meara of the Montreal Star and Dink Carroll of the Montreal Gazette, when teammate Ray Getliff remarked in a post-game interview that Richard, quote, went in like a rocket, unquote. Maurice Richard was a fiery player, hell-bent on scoring goals and the definition of determination. He was the heart and soul of the people of Quebec. He became a symbol of the province during a time when French Canadians were tired of being held down and marginalized by the English-speaking Canadians. He was made a figurehead against his wishes. He forever claimed he was, quote, just a hockey player, unquote. One event in March 1955 ignited his fans. He was suspended three games at the end of the season by NHL President Clarence Campbell when he hit a linesman during a big brawl. This event ignited the so-called Richard Riot, where people in Montreal trashed the city. This started the Quiet Revolution in Quebec and reshaped provincial politics, largely divided into French and English-speaking populations. The loss of three games cost Richard the scoring title and the Art Ross Trophy. The next five seasons were owned by Richard and the Canadians. They won every Stanley Cup between 1956 and 1960. The Rocket had an amazing eight-point game on December 28, 1944. He netted five goals and assisted on three more against the Detroit Red Wings. The backstory on that record night is almost as amazing. The story goes that Rocket spent the entire game day moving his wife Lucille and their infant daughter Huguette across town. He hauled furniture downstairs at the old place and up a flight of winding stairs at the new home in near freezing temperatures on a snowy and windy day. At least, that is what was reported at the time. Richard cleared up the details 15 years after the event and said he moved the day before and just set up furniture on game day. A great story nonetheless. Rocket Richard was immortalized in print and in film. Author Roque Carrier wrote a book based on his own childhood and his admiration for the Rocket. In 2007, a French language film was released, appropriately named The Rocket. Maurice the Rocket Richard was respected by many players. Guy Lafleur said, quote, He was the type of guy who would do anything to win. He was very intense and didn't accept less than 100% from anyone, unquote. Fellow Quebecer Jean Beliveau said, quote, He was a hero who defined a people who were emerging from an agrarian society in the post-war era and moving to the cities to seek their fortunes, unquote. Gordie Howe, just as fierce as Richard, said he, 
quote, admired him for his competitiveness. There wasn't necessarily a love factor there, but there wasn't hate either, unquote. Goalie Glenn Hall simply stated that, quote, he was terrifying, unquote. Wayne Gretzky said Richard was a, quote, incredible mixture of desire, skill, and ferocity, unquote. The Rocket Richard Trophy, first awarded in 1998-99 season, is won by the player who scores the most goals in a season. Wayne Gretzky retired that year and never won the award, yet he has this trophy in his house. It was personally given to the Great One by the Rockets. In the next episode, we feature Jean Rittel, a true superstar and gentleman. Please rate, review, and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast platform. Also, please share with your hockey pals. Feel free to leave a comment or email ideas for future episodes to me at HockeyStoryTeller at gmail.com. I'm on Twitter at HockeyStoryTell, Instagram, HockeyStoryTeller, and Facebook, also HockeyStoryTeller.